Hi everyone, Azrael Knight here and welcome to day 13 of A Fortnite of Film, a vlogging marathon where I shoot a different roll of film every single day. Now normally I ask on Instagram stories what film you want to see me shoot with and I give you a couple of choices, but today I'm doing what I call one of my cheat days. If you ever watched Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, I call this my lifeline, where I still shoot a different film, but uh, I make it a little bit easier on myself. The last time I did Polaroid SX70 black and white, and today it is Instax Square, as recommended by this commenter. In so many words, at least my interpretation is they basically just told me to suck it up. Who cares if I think the cameras are ugly, because that's what I was saying in that particular episode, and just give it a shot. Um, I gotta be honest, I wasn't really aware until recently that Instax Square was a thing. I was aware of the Mini, and I was aware of the Wide, and I thought the Mini was too low quality, and I thought the cameras for the Instax Wide was like trying to take a picture with a loaf of bread. I do have a pack of Instax Wide, and I was considering an Instax episode anyway. When I heard that the Instax SQ6 was around $100, it's it's hard to turn that down. I mean, I spent that much on Polaroid film in a single purchase before, so it makes sense. The other thing is, is that this gives me the nostalgic factor of being able to watch the photo develop as it happens. I don't have to rush it into my bag or anything like that. And the other factor is my wallet. These packs of film are like 11 or $12 Canadian or something like that, depending on where you get it. And you get packs of 10 instead of eight. I, and I still want to support Polaroid. I think since they were Impossible Project, then Polaroid Originals, then Polaroid, they've made great strides in getting back to where they were at when Edwin Land was in charge. And I wish them all the best. That being said, um, I'd be shooting myself in the foot if I didn't give this a chance. So nothing to do now, but get this camera loaded. I've been really curious to see how this loads and everything. I'm sure it's like the Instax wide, but but I figured just in case you're curious as well, I will do a little bit of an unboxing and loading. Read the instructions before use. Yeah, right. Definitely smaller than Polaroid. Oh, <laughs> maybe I should have read the instructions. It goes in this way. Pops in. Just like that. Just to make sure it works and for a little fun, I'm gonna take a selfie with this fancy little selfie mirror right here. And then we'll watch it develop. That is absolutely insane. I mean, it's still developing as we speak, but that is just crazy. That was fast. That's like Polaroid time zero fast. All right, guys, camera works, time to hit the road.
Well, I've snapped off a couple already. Oop. And I gotta say, the cold definitely makes them develop slower. I knew it was gonna be a slower developing time, but it was significant. Like a couple extra minutes, I would say. Yeah, so I stuck them in my bag closer to my hot paw, hoping that'll speed things up. I'm trying to do a nice mix of plants and Halloween stuff. And so far, so good. I bought these hiking boots for winter, and they were listed as winter boots. But then when I started reading the reviews after I purchased it, and let that be a lesson to you, read the reviews before you make the purchase. Yeah, once I started reading the reviews after, people complained about how slippery they are. So, while I feel like they're still better than my shoes, I am being extra cautious. Well, looks like that wraps things up for me. I'm on my way back to the car and I'm gonna have a look at these bad boys. All right, folks, I am back in the car and I've had a chance to look through my photos and they look fantastic, especially the color. The color is amazing. Uh, with one exception, and I'll show you that after the highlights. Of course, neither of us have to wait today. Here are today's highlights and no contact sheet, but I will show you the duds after. There we are, folks. I hope you enjoyed those. I'm gonna show you the duds now. Uh, the reason why I did not pick this one is because I did not account for the parallax adjustment of just having a piece of glass as a viewfinder. So I would have raised that up a little bit higher to show the red leaf there. This is a spider somebody made for their Halloween um, decor and I just found it a little blown out and lost in translation. And then this last one actually looks like a defect. There's a big splotch and a green shift on the end there. The only thing that I can think of is that I put it too close to the uh, hand warmer that I had in my bag. Now, if you're counting, you would have seen that was nine photos. The 10th one is still developing but I can already tell I won't like it. I was trying to capture water dripping into a puddle and it uh, it didn't really work out. It didn't really translate, I don't think. I mean, I'll take a look at it when I get home and if I like it enough, I'll throw it in the highlights at the end of showing the others, but I really doubt, I really doubt it. I can tell right away I don't like it. So what are my thoughts on Instax? I have to say that I like it. I think there are two main things that I can think of that I don't like so far, um, just straight off from the first pack. Number one is while I was aware that the Instax Square was a little bit smaller than Polaroid, it's also a little thinner, it feels a little less robust. The second thing that I would say I don't like about Instax is that the photos are ejected at a snail's pace. Whereas Polaroid is like, here's your shot, put it away, quick. Instax is like, er, 
hit so slow, so slow. I mean, the camera itself is fine. I thought it was gonna be completely automatic, so the fact that there's a lighten, a darken, a macro mode, a landscape mode, all those things, I think that's uh, fantastic. I, I got more than what I expected out of the camera. What I'd like to see is them come out with an Instax wide camera that I actually like the look of. I mean, the SQ6, I don't actually mind the look of it too much. I mean, they all look the same. They've got this weird round lens front, and maybe that they just do that because of production purposes to make it easier to produce. Uh, however, it's, uh, it's an aesthetic preference, but like people have told me recently, it, it's the results that matter. You will love the look of Instax, and that's true. The color is beautiful, the exposure is consistent, and I would definitely shoot with it again. What Next time I get a chance, I'm gonna pick up some packs of Instax, and I'm gonna play around with it, 100%. I got this book on instant film and doing all these crazy weird things to it, Polaroid and Instax, and I will use that as a reference guide to try and bend and break the rules of Instax, see what I can come up with. Plus I hear there are uh, instant backs. Uh, I was speaking to one of the viewers, Lori, and she's got an Instax back for an Olympus camera. That is insane. It was part of a kickstarting campaign. Yeah, so the sky's the limit with Instax, whereas Polaroid, not as much. There, There's a lot riding on nostalgia with Polaroid, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. I still think that the SX70 is the most beautiful instant camera out there. At the same time, I can't limit myself just based on nostalgia. I need to spread my wings, so to speak. So yeah, that's all for today. Day 13 comes to a close, and until tomorrow, stay classic. I mean, my expectations were low, but they weren't that low.